Hi and welcome to the best of IPMAT series. For today, we have a question from trigonometry. Okay, so again, a lesser favorite topic of, of most of the students, but again, uh, you know, uh, because we are featuring this in the best of IP man, you should have understood by now that it's not really a very, very difficult question uh, to solve. Okay, and we can wiggle our way out in trigonometry also. If you know the basic values of sine and cos and just that uh, four quadrants of all silver teacups, that's about it, that's all that you need uh, for this question. Okay. So let's begin the question. Before we actually start solving, I would want you also to give an honest attempt to this question without the blockage that it's a trigger question. Okay, and then we will see the solution. Hello everyone. If you like our content and want to experience the IMS pedagogy, then join our zero fee pep program that will give you access to concept videos, sectional test and full length mock test and many more for free. To avail this, please click on the link mentioned under the description box below. Happy learning. Okay, so starting with the solution, the first part they've given ABC of a triangle are in arithmetic progression. Okay, so the three angles are in AP. So A plus B plus C is 180, remember it's a triangle property. Okay, and B minus D, B and B plus D is going to be 180 because they are in AB, uh, AP. So 3B is 180. So first thing that you need to understand is that B is equal to 60 degrees. Correct. So, B is 60. Now, the another thing that is given is sine of something is half. Sine of 2A plus B. You should know that sine of 30 is half. But sine of 2A plus B cannot, or rather 2A plus B cannot be 30 because we know that B is 60. And then anyway, because A is an angle, it cannot be negative. Correct. So, if sine is sine of, uh, one uh, sine of uh, 2A plus B, they have given as half. But we know that 2A plus B cannot be 30. Okay, so the next value when sine takes half is sine of 150. Okay, so in the second quadrant, so we know that sine of 180 minus 30 should also be equal to half, correct? And in the second quadrant, sine is positive, so it's half. Okay, so sine of 150. So 2a plus b is 150, out of which b is 60. So 2a is equal to 90 degrees and therefore a should be equal to 45. Correct. So, if B is 60, A is 45, C has to be 75 degrees. And that's about it. So, I think we are pretty much sorted. What we are asked is sine of B plus 2C. So, sine of B which is 60 plus 2C, 2 into 75, 150. 150 plus 60 is 210. So, sine of 210 is nothing but sine of 180 plus 30. Now, sine of 180 plus 30 takes us to the third quadrant. Now, in third quadrant, sine is not positive, sine is negative. Okay, so sine of its 30 is going to be this time minus half. And that's about it. That's our answer. So, only thing if you knew the all silver T cups, the four quadrants, which quadrant, which ratio is positive, and the basic values of sine 30, uh, and you know, that is enough for you to be able to get through this question. So, I hope you understood this question. This question was uh, definitely in the doable category uh, and uh, try your hand at the replica question and put your answer in the comments. Happy learning and see you.